Hi, um, I've been messing around with a uh, open tuning on um, on my uh, recently built guitar, and I realized that there was a lot of things that I didn't know years ago, and um, I just wanted to share just a very basic um, overview or a basic like beginner's understanding of open um, tuning with the slide. Um, slide on the guitar. So the tuning I'm going to be doing is the open D. Now, um, to do that tuning, you really don't even need a tuner. Um, you can do it by ear. If your uh, guitar is already in standard tuning, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, and also, if you have like a kind of a junkier old guitar with a really high string action, it's actually better in this case for the, for the slide. So um, I'll show that on my, I'll play the uh, little demonstration on my hubcap guitar, but um, I, that's already tuned to open D. So I wanted to show how simple it is to tune to open D. So, um, so the strings will be D, A, D, F sharp, um, F sharp, A, D. So you can use the D string, which is the E, A, D. You can use the D string. To tune down, to tune down the uh, formerly the E string, but now the D. So it's like drop D now. So, but now, you can also use that to tune the high E to D, and then. Um, You'll see that you can actually just make it make the chord by see how that sounds. So it doesn't sound right. So you you detune this to um, F sharp, and if you don't have a tuner with you or a piano or whatever, you can just listen. Now watch. You hear that? It, it gets into the chord, and then. So these two, you're just tuning down by ear. It's, it's, you can hear it right away. So now that's tuned um, to open D. Um, but for the demonstration, I wanted to use this guitar because it's a resonator, and I think it just, it just goes better with, um, with this kind of uh, playing. Um, now I like to use a glass slide because the metal ones to me are just too, way too metallic and I just don't like the way they sound. Um, this is a bottle neck, which I didn't make this one. I bought this one at Guitar Center, but you can make these. Um, so, let's see. All right, so we'll be using the open, which is D of course, and so the way this would work, if you were to lay your fingers across, then that's a chord. So I will be using the third fret, which would be, this is E, and then this would be F. So the third fret would be F, the fifth fret, which is a G, seventh, which is an A, and then the twelfth, um, which is a, a back to D. Um, so the other one of the tips that I never knew, and this is one of the most important things, when you're playing, you you place a finger or two fingers behind the uh, slide. They're they're there behind there, and they're kind of deadening unwanted like rattlings, and it just makes it sound much better. If you if you do it without it, it they kind of like jangle and just doesn't sound right. And then the other thing, instead of fretting in the middle like you would with your finger, you uh, would place the slide right over top of the fret to get the right the note that you want. Um, and then when you press on the slide, you want to give enough pressure that you're that it's not like jangling like that, but also enough pressure, not too much pressure that it's that you're going to like hit the frets as you go up. So 
Um, just a real simple thing, like you can play like kind of a bluesy thing. So you're kind of like sliding up to the note and then you give it kind of like a little wiggle there. It makes it sound nice and swampy. So that's just a basic, basic um, understanding of that. And then once you get into it, you can add like, you know, a fretted notes like. little things in there like that and um it's really lately i've been doing i just started you know messing around with the slide more when I, once i made this and um it's one of those things where i really just keep thinking about the guitar and thinking about it when i'm not around it and i just wanted to play it and don't want to put it down so you know mess experimenting with different tunings is it's fun and it just changes things up and um Basically, that's all I wanted to show. So like if you wanted to do a blues progression, you just could do open, five, and seven. And you could throw in the 12 there once in a while. Um, yeah, you just mess around with that. And when I was doing open, I was just... So I was just hitting on the third just to kind of give it that kind of bluesy sound. Um, and then if you're um, interested in want, building something like this, this will be in a future video. I've built another one uh, before. Um, this one really didn't cost me much to uh, build. So I put that coin up in there that says, what did it say? No cash value. It's from, like from an arcade or something. I have a gear on the back because I always like throwing gears into things. And if you see, it's just like a wood there. Um, that I attached to the, uh, an acoustic neck. Um, the tailpiece is a combination of a spatula and some all thread and a muffler clamp. This is just a piece of wood and a hubcap was uh, given to me. It's, um, it's not real heavy. It's pretty you know, nice. I have a, uh, I have a piezo, if that's how you say it. a few chords on the way out and um yeah if you're interested in building one of these i'm surely glad to help with any advice and uh, keep a uh, look out for this build and another build that'll be in a future video so i hope this helped uh someone out there at least at least one person to not uh you know i was not playing with the slide for many many years because i just I didn't have that information out there and I know it's out there now, but when I was younger, we didn't have YouTube or really to help us. And I just, I just bought a slide and it sounded terrible and I just never played it again. So just picked it up recently and I wanted to share that. Thanks.